Hi guys, I'm Black. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Louis Ifefo. So if this is the first time here on my channel, hello there and welcome to my channel. So here on my channel, I create hair content, lifestyle content, and vlogs. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And also don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them, share them with your friends. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever i post a video and if you're a returning subscriber i want to say thank you so much for sticking around till this time so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys some hairstyling hygiene you need to know before doing a job or while doing a job so if this sounds like something you'll be interested in this video is definitely for you i need to keep watching So in achieving a flawless installation, you need to follow some steps and, you know, put your hygiene in check before you can achieve a very beautiful installation. So one of the things we're going to be looking at first is uh, preparing the skin before installation. So in some of my videos, I know you must have seen where I use um, the face wipes to clean the, the forehead before I apply the glue. So the reason is because I like to take out all the residues that are sitting on the person's skin before I go ahead to put my glue. So after using the, um, the wipes to clean the person's skin, I like to go ahead to use um, a skin protectant spray. So some of us, you know, are allergic to some, some type of product. So um, before you go ahead to put the glue on the person's skin, I advise you always do like the skin protectant um, spray just to make sure that part is kept clean and protected before using the adhesive on the person's skin. So when the rave of frontal started, we see a lot of videos where people use um, towels to clean the skin and then use towel to like apply the skin protectant spray. I'm not a huge fan of all that because me, I believe in, you know, cleanliness when it comes to my installation. So some people are comfortable with you using a towel and there are some people you meet, they wouldn't even allow you to use that towel because they feel, okay, you You've used the towel for someone else so why use it on me i hope it makes sense but people can't be that careful when it comes to their skin so in order to play safe what i like to do is just get a wipe it's very it's not that expensive you can just walk into any shop or any supermarket and then get you a wipe and then use it to get the job done so secondly in um applying my skin protectant spray so most times what i do is after using the first wipe to like clean the surface i mean the person's skin where i'm going to have the glue you know down i use a clean wipe like a different wipe from what i used earlier to clean to then do the skin protectant spray application so i know the economy is bad and we all are trying to like manage things so the easiest way i do it all the time so when i take out the wipe from the pack i like to tear it into two so i have two one to clean the skin and the other one to apply my skin protectant spray so this is how i do it remember we're trying to keep our hygiene in check just to be careful so we can achieve a flawless installation so you guys i am really sorry there are a lot of construction work going on in my play you just bear with me listen to the sound of my voice and focus so you can you know hear what i'm trying to say i'm so really sorry about this so after you must have cleaned the person's skin used your skin protectant spray so it's time for glue application i see a lot of videos where people just use their hand to like apply i've done it before and um, i'm not denying it so i feel it's not a good hygiene to use your hand to apply 
um, what's it called, the adhesive on the person's skin. So um, there are cons to this when you use your hand to apply. So it has happened to me in the past, like there are times where I do like my first glue application, then for the second one, I try to use my hand to like blend it in. So the, my finger lifts, it tends to like lift the glue I put initially and it just makes the whole thing tacky. So it's really not advisable to use your hand for um, glue application. So is it that you get a rattle comb or you get a spatula? You know, when you buy ice cream, there's this small spatula that comes with it. You can also use them. Then also, um, some of these um, people who deal on frontal um, products, they have this small spatula they sell for application so you can as well get one just to make everything easy and seamless. So that's it for preparing the skin glue application. So now we're going to head on to, you know, getting our frontal wig or the frontal before installation. Before you install the wig, you have to, you know, bleach the hair, then you pluck and then tint the lace before you now install. So if you're one of those people who applied the, the bleach on the front out without using a spatula or a brush, please stop it. It's going to, you know, damage your hand. So that's not, that's not healthy, it's not hygienic. So when it's time to wash out the bleach from the front out, please try and wash it out thoroughly. I got a message from someone who attended one of my online classes. She was saying um, after installing the frontal for the client, the client kept complaining that the hair was itching her, you know. I told her the problem is coming from the bleach. You didn't wash it out thoroughly before installation because if you leave like um, the, the, if you don't wash it out very well, it's going to leave some of the bleach particles inside the hair. And by the time you install, when it sits into the person's um, scalp, it's going to continue bleaching and that's where itchiness comes from. So always try to wash out the bleach properly before you head on to installation. So when it's time for installation, please get your control pins because control pins will help you. They go a long way because, I mean, you're not going to be working with someone. Let's assume you're working alone because sometimes I work alone. So what I always do is I get my control pins ready because it helps to like, you know, hasten or, or, or make the work, you know, seamless and smooth while I am working. So you don't just start using your hand to like press and the person starts sniffing your armpits and all you know things like that are not really hygienic when it comes to frontal installation or attending to a client so i see a lot of videos on instagram and i'm like wow how do you you guys even do this when you're working with your scissors you put it in your mouth and you're working with your comb you just put it in your mouth things like these are not hygienic for you and the clients too because i mean there are a lot of products in the comb and you after doing it you just hang it in your mouth it doesn't make sense and another one i see a lot of people do is putting the comb in their hair it's not nice, it's not hygienic. There's one I used to do, you know, after working, I just hang the comb on my beard. I stopped doing that. If you follow me very well, like you follow me consistently, you will know that um, there are a lot of transitions when it comes to my, you know, work. Like I try to like upgrade myself without even listening to someone or, you know, seeing what they do. There are things you can just sit down and say, okay, it's high time you stop doing this and if you put it into practice trust me you're going to master it and not do things like that so um after working using your comb on the client you then transfer it to your hair so let's assume you have dandruff or that client has dandruff so it's going to be easy to like transfer this dandruff either from you to the client or from the client to you so if you're putting comb in your hair or in your mouth or on your beard it is high time you stop it so same goes for the control pin if you're that person who usually puts your control pin just hang it like this please stop it 
And that's it for today's video. I hope it was really insightful and you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you get to do that. And also don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them, share them with your friends. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever I post a video. So is there anything you'd want to see here on my channel? Don't forget to leave it in the comments below. And I promise you guys, I am going to come through. So by the way, have you seen my previous video? I'm going to leave it up here so you guys can go watch it and see my experience living in Lagos and getting a place. So I'll see you in my next one.